Welcome to Next Tech. Who do you think runs the markets of the world? It's safe to say that today most markets and industries have their own big players that control or capture a big share of it with monopoly. Like food has biggies like McDonald's, KFC, Starbucks, clothes have global chains like H&M, and many others. There is one such company that started as a player in the digital retail space, but now is taking over the world markets by day. Yes, you guessed it right, the company is none other than Amazon. And in today's video, we'll talk a little bit about how big exactly Amazon is. Make sure you watch this video till the end to see the massive market share that Amazon holds in a number of industries, which is truly mind-boggling. So, Amazon started just like any other retail platform, such as eBay or Craigslist, where you could buy a bunch of stuff. It was not really a part of our daily habits, like an Apple's iPhone or a Google search engine, or catching up with friends on Facebook. It had a very specific purpose, to buy stuff, and that is all you went there to do once in a while. But the same big executives who thought of Amazon as a glorified dot-com startup were soon left thinking when Amazon started working on its cloud computing business. It was shocking how they took the learnings from their holiday season shipping demand growth and showed everyone how to scale up functions in its own data centers by expanding their own computing power and data storage without the need for external help from Microsoft or any other tech giant. One thing that was good at Amazon was that even though the employees were not thought of as big deals, but they worked hard coming in for late night launches and weekend projects, which most companies were not doing. Even up until 2010, it was only a medium level company, but the next 10 years put it right at the top of the world. Over the last 10 years, this company gained the title of the most powerful, respected, and feared companies in tech, and in most industries beyond that too. Did you know that the revenue of Amazon across its core business, which is e-commerce, has increased seven times since 2010? Currently standing at about 34.2 billion. Yes, they are that big. But e-commerce today is just a part of what they do and offer. One of their offerings, AWS, which started as a self-expansion tool, has now turned into the third largest enterprise software business in the world, which does 35 billion in sales almost every year now, giving a tough fight to giants like Microsoft and Oracle. So cloud computing is another industry where Amazon has become a hit in a very short time. Now let us talk about one more of the company's aspects, its logistics and shipping operations. It is safe to say that this service from Amazon has become such an impenetrable force that very few companies will ever have the resource or ability to match it, even in the coming decade. Resources say that the company is spending 800 million per quarter in just maintaining their one-day delivery service for all Prime customers in the US alone. Now, talking about the physical retail, yes, that has taken a run too. It started off with Amazon bookstores that they funded, but then went huge when they bought the global supermarket chain Whole Foods in 2017. This move put Amazon at the front foot in the physical retail industry as well. Yet another side of the company is hardware. Amazon put in their first shot at building tech hardware when they launched a phone in 2014, but it failed very quickly without much impact. But the effort was not wasted, rather it served as a rehearsal for the release of an entirely new gadget, the Home Assistant, Alexa. This gadget came out of nowhere and left Apple's Siri and Google Assistant playing catch up in the matter of just a few years. Today, as most of us know, Alexa is the number one used virtual assistant in the world. While doing all of these huge feats in a mere 10 years, Amazon has managed to become the second largest employer in the US, giving jobs to almost 750,000 full-time employees, placing them in fulfillment centers, warehouses, the top management, and across the firm globally. You will be surprised to know that the Amazon headquarters occupies more than 13 million square feet of office space in Seattle today, after it outgrew its old office. Now, the next move we can expect from Amazon is setting their foot in the world of online advertising and looking at the trends that have played out in the last decade. We can assume that it will definitely steal some market share and ad dollars from Google for sure. Now, let's talk a little bit about profits. Since 2014, Amazon's operating profit has continued to grow, going from $2.2 billion in 2015 to around $4 billion in 2017 to more than $12 billion in 2018 
and about $13.4 billion in 2020. This is not a small increase, and the beneficiaries are not just the people at the firm, but also the investors who have held their stock since 2010. They have seen their investment increase in value by a factor of almost 13 times, which is awesome if you ask us. It has now made Bezos now the world's richest person. What do you think helped Amazon reach this level of success? If you ask us, it has been the result of adamant adherence to the set of principles across industries. These principles, mostly generated by Bezos himself, are to become the everything store and putting the customer first. Everything else comes later. That is why, as customers, you can return almost anything you buy from Amazon by just giving a valid reason. There is no other mass market company willing to absorb such big costs and the added hassle for their customers. No matter what or how expensive the product is, the customer's happiness comes first, and this has been the case even from the time when Amazon was a baby in the market. In fact, many Amazon employees claim that they have seen many high revenue generating ideas being rejected just because they would be bad for customers. But just keeping the customers happy would not work in the long run, right? Amazon has also been keen on non-stop experimentation and learning from failure, be it the company's Fire Phone, being a flop, to moving forward and finding global success in the Echo Personal Assistant and Fire TV streaming products. Be it their $13.7 billion purchase of Whole Foods that confused and scared a lot of the investors to turning this buy into a full-fledged takeover in the grocery store space. Be it Amazon's joint venture with Berkshire Hathaway and J.P. Morgan Chase in researching ways to lower health insurance costs for employees, which we can bet will make for a steady but successful march in the healthcare space. Be it anything, the basic ideas always remain the same. Have an obsession with customers and be open to experimenting at all times. These might seem like easy goals to incorporate into any business, but actually running your business like this, rather than caring more about what's best for shareholders, is not as easy as it sounds. It takes a lot of patience, as well as courage, to stand strong on these principles, which Amazon did and certainly got the results to match. And honestly, as the number of consumers on Amazon are growing, the company is not being rigid on their own products and prices either. They want to accommodate everyone regardless of budget or expectations, so the company goes on to offer lower prices, wide and endless selections, a continuous stream of novel and luxury products without the fear that one or the other might bring them losses. Now that Amazon has become as big as it gets, many people and analysts ask the question, can Amazon fail? Is it too big to fail at this point? Is there any possibility that one day Amazon actually seizes operations and becomes unable to meet the expenses? Or worse, goes bankrupt? Well, we don't know what the future holds. There is a possibility for everything, but looking how vital Amazon has become in our lives and how incredibly interconnected it stands now across business verticals and industries, a fail seems unlikely. But even if it comes, Amazon will not be the only one at loss. It might just cause havoc in the larger economic system. Even Jeff Bezos does not think that Amazon is too big to fail. In fact, in 2018, he himself told all his employees in a meeting that he feels that one day Amazon could and would fail, going bankrupt at the end. Though we could see this as just a comment to avoid overconfidence and a lack of determination in employees. But we cannot deny that several big companies have actually failed after years and years of success due to a number of reasons. So maybe Amazon could too. But Amazon still will have to fail in a lot of verticals to actually go bankrupt. We know how ingrown it has become in everywhere, such as e-commerce, logistics, cloud computing, entertainment, AI, retail, etc., and is still entering new markets. So to fail would mean that Amazon products would have to fail in all of these spaces, which virtually seems almost impossible. All we can say is that if Amazon ever does happen to fail, the effects of this would be seen far and wide across sectors, industries, markets, and even other businesses that rely on Amazon.com to sell their products as they themselves lack the proper infrastructure to go digital. This could be seen by the millions of people, small, independent creators, and manufacturers from whom Amazon is the only medium to reach a global audience. Not to forget the prime video and music. Even this massive entertainment sector gives millions of people the access to countless shows, movies, music, and much more. All of these will stop. Can you imagine that? What about our favorite shows? No, that seems too far-fetched and scary. So, it is for now safe to say that Amazon is big in an indestructible, massive, and extraordinarily important way. Amazon is one of the biggest entities in the world today. What do you think of that? 
Tell us your thoughts about Amazon in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video too, and press the bell icon to get notified about our new videos. Until then, make sure to check out other videos on our channel. See ya!